New video obtained by KRDO shows the moment surrounding a deadly shooting today. KRDO News Channel 13's Barbara Fox is live on 6th Street in Pueblo where that shooting happened. She spoke with some neighbors who say they woke up to loud gunshots. Barbara. Heather, Pueblo police say one man died here and another woman is currently in the hospital after suffering life-threatening injuries. One neighbor's security camera caught activity in the streets just after police got calls of reports of a shooting. When I came out the front door, he was already in the back going over the fence. That's when the officers all showed up. Mark Ortiz woke up to gunshots ringing out in his front yard just before 2 Friday morning. My daughter upstairs came running down because she heard banging. The banging she heard was gunshots. His security camera captured activity around the same time Pueblo police received a report of gunshots in the area. Take a look at this video from 201 Friday morning. It's unclear how the people in this video are connected to the shooting. You can see a person running from the home where police were gathering evidence just before noon. Then you see the same person run back towards the home again before taking off. Then a second person runs in a driveway and into his backyard a minute later. It, it does worry me because you know, if I'm at work at night and this is going on, that puts me in a, in a situation of not knowing what's going around. You know, it could be happening in your backyard. It could happen in the alley let alone in your front yard. All morning Friday, Pueblo detectives were collecting evidence from this house and knocking on doors. Ortiz is hopeful this footage he turned over to police helps investigators solve the case. I hope it, ca it helps them catch whoever it is. Pueblo police would not comment further about this, uh, the security footage because it's still an active and ongoing investigation. This marks the 25th homicide in Pueblo. For now, reporting live on the east side of Pueblo, Barbara Fox, Curio, News Channel 13. Barbara, thank you.